Hey, everyone. Happy Toy Hio Saturday. Yay, toys. Toys, toys, toys. People, people, people. Let's get started. Uh-oh, the guitar's a little out of tune, but it's close enough for rock and roll. We got four people here. Oh, we always wait till we have seven people. I'm a OCD guy. Wait till we have seven people here. Let's see if anybody else wants to join in tonight. It's an accidental uh, stream. Had no intention of doing this. I literally just decided this to do this. Oh, we got five. Five, wow. Yeah, what are people doing here? <laughs> just decided to do this literally like eight minutes ago. So oh. we, we got six. We got six people here. Six well, people what do we here. got? We got Chaos. We got Burton. Burton, what's up? Chaos, oh, what's got, up? We got Brian Bird. We, we got, got Dr. seven people. Frankenstein. We got Bree. Wow, look at all these people. Uh, who else? I think that's it. Says lemon counts. Lemon's here. Oh, lemon. Lemon's here. Yeah. All right. So here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? Captain Crappy likes his toys. Captain Crappy loves his toys. Star Wars superhero G.I. Joe toys. Captain Crappy loves his toys. Hey, Captain Crappy loves his toys. Oi, toy, 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 Ohio. 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 Crappy dyed his beard. Captain Crappy dyed his beard. It was supposed to be silver, but it turned out. Looks really weird. Captain Crappy dyed his beard. Captain yeah. Crappy loves his toys. Oh, oh yeah! All Toy. right. Hi -ho. Hi -ho. Hi -ho. <laughs> Hope I don't get sued by Drew Carey. Right? <laughs> yeah, I think Drew Carey's uh, kind of living a chill lifestyle now. Yeah. All these people here already. Look at that. Svetlana. You, you already yeah, said hi Svetlana. to everybody. Oh, hey, Figure Collective. Figure Collective. It was figure nice collective. You today. We got to hang out with Figure Collective today. That was so cool, man. Um, Let me turn this down. Woo, Lordy. So, uh, yeah, we went to Ohio today, and I was I was I just got home from work. I had to go straight to work afterward. Um, which was dumb because there was nobody in there today, really. Hey, uh, Chester. Chester, what's up, buddy? So uh, I thought I was just taking my toys out of the bag, and I thought I'd share them with everybody. And Miss Crappy got some things we're going to share, too. Just a couple. Uh, but the cool thing about today was people. And there was a lot of people there. And we got to meet so many people. And we got to put names to faces and voices and we got to shake hands and we got to talk toys and it was so cool yeah it was and for as busy it was we made it through in very very good time we, we got a great parking spot it was awesome december pixie good evening how are Hi, you december so we're gonna show off the stuff we got today one of the toys i got was a gi joe um sergeant rock and roll from the 25th uh, anniversary gi joe collection but i hung that on my wall in my office at work that's where my gi joe stuff goes so but speaking of gi joe i did get i scored this awesome uh snowmobile the gi i forgot what the code name for this was but i played with this so many hours when I was a kid. As soon as I saw it, it brought back all the memories, and I had to get it. Plus, it had both the missiles and all the little pieces, parts to go to it. And I had already purchased a snow job figure from Tony at uh, Robot Zero Comics. So, Rachel McGowan, what is up? Hello. Welcome. Hi, Rachel. Nice to see you. So, I got this today for a very, very good price. $20, and it's complete. So... I think that was a good price. I've seen it for much more. So, Figure uh, Collective said that's awesome. Is it? Yes. Oh, well, thanks, Figure Collective. Figure Collective had the coolest shirt on of the day. It was, uh, his t shirt looked exactly like an X Wing pilot. I mean, it had all the little doodads yeah. and everything. It was very cool, very noticeable, which was cool because I remembered I had t shirts to give away to people. And about 10 minutes after we ran into them, um, Mrs. Crappy reminded me that I should have given him one because he's a guy my size and we had a few mediums left because not a lot of mediums, just saying. Um, so I had to run through the crowd, Captain Crappy style. I found him, I located him, I, I dove through people, I fought off orcs and, and trolls and I got the shirt into his hands and he was very grateful. We, we, we fist bumped and it was cool. Or I think we shook hands, I can't remember. 
Uh, anywho. <laughs> Socially distanced elbow bump. <laughs> Dr. Frankenstein says uh, nothing like having toys from when you were a kid. Right, because most of the stuff, oh, yeah, anytime. Uh, figure Collector says he appreciates it. You're right, Dr. Frankenstein, because most of the toys that I collect now are actually newer toys, newer versions of what I had as a kid. Um, I just love where figures have gone and all that kind of stuff. Which is a uh, dramatic shirt delivery for the win. <laughs> it, <laughs> it was. It was very dramatic. It was hyper dramatic. Very exciting. Uh, but that toy specifically, I actually had as a kid. So that is a vintage piece of toy. And I don't have a lot of vintage stuff. I just, I just haven't gone there yet. I mean, maybe one day I will, but it seems like a, a daunting task can, can, compared to what I've already done. So um, let's look at some Star Wars figures, okay? Yeah, let's see what you got. I got my favorite thing in the world besides pilots are robots. I got Robit. I got new robots. I have um, a, a pretty extensive collection of robots up there behind me. If you can see them, now, I have a question. What is there a difference between a robot and a droid? Ooh. I mean, technically, is there? I don't know. I mean, do robots hold more intelligence ask, than a droid? Ask I mean, them. Can anybody answer that question? Is there is there a difference between a robot and a droid? Robot. Well, you know. So I got these from, the, uh, I, I have most of the Star Wars droids. I have a pretty big collection of droids, uh, but I don't have the ones from the Star Tours packages because they were older. Um, so I got this guy. I love his little feet. He's cute. Right? And look at his tail. It's the, it's the tip of an X-Wing cannon. Ah! How funny is that? So I got this robot. That, that is correct. Dr. Frankenstein says, I don't believe the word a robot was ever used in Star Wars. You're right. They were droids. You're That's right. That's right. And I got this droid, but I like to call them robots, uh, Dr. Frankenstein. And this one is an R5 unit. It's uh, R5-D2. But uh, if you notice the head, his eyes protrude unlike any other R5 units that I have, that I possess. And I have an R5 unit with a gun mounted on his head. But this one's cool. His eyes bug out, and I like that about him. Plus, he has battle damage right there, like somebody ran into him or something. So I like that. So I got him. I believe I bought those ones off, uh, and this one as well, off of Andy from Neotech. And this guy is uber cool. I love his Johnny Five, I Am Alive eyes. Yes. Like, look, his eyes move back and up and down, blip, 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 blip. And, and he looks like he's got hydraulic uh, arms with uh, flat palms. So I believe he's a lifting droid. He likes to lift stuff, you know. Uh, 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 I lift stuff. <laughs> and he's got a little, little feet, but he's got a lot of hydraulics going on in him. So I imagine he's a strong, stronger than he looks. He's strong. All right. We have, so we have some answers. Uh, oh, okay. What are the answers? Uh, Dr. Frank seems to be a bad motivator. It's funny. When I bought that, I think uh, Andy told me he said the, the motivator is good on that one. Uh, well, Chaos said that droids have some level, <clears throat> excuse me, of a programmed... Sentience? Yes. Sentience. Sentience. Okay. And, um, and then Brian, the other, the other bird... <laughs> one that we ran into. Brian with a Y we ran yes! into. We ran into the Mandalorian into the today. Mandalorian, um, he was in his secret disguise. He said that robots and droids are the same. Okay. Um, Bree so, says no yeah. disassemble. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what else did I get? Um, Another thing I like that I have a shelf of up here is old school Jedi from the uh, Clone Wars era, right? There where my finger is, right there. And I got this guy um, whom I don't have. I have a version of him, but he's not in his armor, okay? And I always forget his name. It's like Seek T or something like that. Anywho, he's wearing full-blown... Eh, kind of. He's wearing full, full-blown uh, Clone Wars armor here. With the tunic over top, which is what the Jedi commanders did, and I thought I love that. But instead of a, because he has a big head and he has those horns, he can't wear a regular clone bucket. So he has this very Mandalorian-looking bucket with with uh, holes for his ears to come out of. And I love this guy, so I got this guy. I don't know why I just like him; he's cool. Uh, figure collector says, "Nice." Uh, Burton's laughing about short circuit. Yeah, 
Well, that's because this guy looks kind of like his eyes look like like Johnny Five, don't they? Don't they kind of? Yeah. Like you. Okay, and then that's another water. thing. Yes, another thing that I like to collect <laughs> is clones. 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 So, so I have this. I got this lovely complete with the little grappling hook and everything. Clone Commander. His visor goes up and down. I have a bunch of these guys in all different colors. So when I see them for a good price, I like to pick them up. So I, this is one of the things that I army build. And I don't have any real, like, large armies, but I got lots of clones. Are those, um, are those like, the clone version of cargo shorts? No, these are their man skirts. They're, like, kilts, kind of. But but his are equipped with Lots uh, of blasters. utility pockets? Oh, yeah, they have pockets for the blasters. Is his name Todd? His name is Jim. 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 And then I got these two clones. These were these guys were uh, when I saw them, they were rocking out "What Is Love," so they're like the Butabi brothers, like "What Is Love, Baby? Don't hurt me, don't hurt me no more." So yeah, I love these guys. They're cool too. So they're going in my clone army. Those I think those were the Emperor's personal clone troopers. So, uh, figure collect this is at the sweet. Sweet clone. Chaos says nice haul. Oh, but we're not done. We have more. Okay. So, you know, I, I the first first table I saw, I jumped on it. I'm like, ooh, Star Wars. Because I'm, you know, I see something shiny. I get very distracted, right? So I saw Boba Fett with red gauntlets, right? And I'm like, oh, I have to have that one. This is the same exact figure as the very expensive vintage collection, Return of the Jedi, Boba Fett. It's still VCO nine, but it's the Return of the Jedi one. But this is the same figure. He has the red gauntlets. So I got him, and I was like, "Ooh, must have him, must have him." I paid for him, and not two seconds later, later at the same table, figure collector says, uh, "Nice, uh, love the stock, uh, love the shock troopers." I got four to six inch ones, uh, but you can never have enough, right? Zachary's here. He says, "Oh snap! I didn't realize you were doing a live video." Uh, nice Fett. Thank you, Zach. Uh, yeah, I didn't plan on it till like literally three, four, five minutes, eight minutes actually before we went on. Uh, Brian says, Shocky boys. Brian, what a why? Yeah. So, literally two seconds later, um, at the same table from the same gentleman, I found the vintage collection Boba Fett with red gauntlets, Return of the Jedi version. Um, he had them for a, a, a decent price. Um, I asked him if he could do better. We did a little haggling. I don't like doing the haggling thing, so I didn't do it much. But he gave me a good deal on this, and uh, this was one that I've actually been looking at on eBay lately, and the price keeps going up and up, and I'm like, uh, do I really need it? So I don't know. But I love this. I love this figure. I love my vintage collection stuff, man. It's 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 my favorite thing to collect. So, um, you know, when there's one missing, I get all a little bit itchy because I'm OCD and stuff. Um, then speaking of vintage collection, I got this, uh, reissue battle droid, which I never thought I would get worry about collecting Phantom Menace vintage collection, but Hasbro has me hooked like heroin. So when they release new stuff, I'm like, Ooh, I don't have a clone. I don't have a, I don't have a Roger, Roger, uh, Robert, robot, robot, <laughs> Roger, 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 robot. <laughs> so I got so I got one of these guys. This is a uh, VC seventy eight, but it has the new backing on it, so it's not technically really VC. That would be a mashup. What? Roger, Roger, Rabbit. Roger. Robot. Oh, we could make one of those into a Roger Rabbit. Zachary says uh, those cards are in such nice condition. They are. They are. Figure Collective says uh, you did really good today, man. Oh, hey, we're not done yet. Hey, Stin sixty eight dropped in and says hello, hey, hello, Stin sixty eight. What's you? up, buddy? Uh, Zach says, uh, dang dude, nice, jealous. Don't, don't be jealous, man. Be happy with what you have. You have a great collection, Zach. And I saw all the stuff you've just added to it. Good job, man. <laughs> awesome stuff. Awesome. Then more vintage collection. I got a Revenge of the Sith Clone Trooper VC 15. So I like these guys, man. And the cool thing about this one, what I like is that, uh, sticker for the free rocket firing Boba Fett. Um, thanks to a good friend of mine and Neotag, Eric Taylor, um, I actually have the rocket firing Boba Fett. You know, the one that we were promised all those years ago and never got because some kid doesn't know how to not choke on his toys. Mm. Student says, oh, I got my package. Uh, it was awesome, Cap. 
Well, cool, Stitch. That's awesome. Congratulations, man. If you uh, take a picture, man, put it on the uh, family page if you could. Uh, Stitch says, uh, missed the start. I was working on my Mando replica helmet. Oh, that's awesome, man. You guys, you and uh, Brian with a wire are going to have to hang out now. You could all join the Mandalorian merch together. Yeah. Uh, oh, Stitch says he doesn't do Facebook. Oh, that's cool, man. We have a Discord. If you do Discord, Bull started a Discord for the page or for the family. All right, guys. So here's my big score for the day. Okay. This is the one that took up the most room in my bag. I've been looking for this for a very long time. It is an older, um, it's an older set, but it's a cool set. And it's the only way you can get some of these figures. Okay. Oh, look at that. Yes. Don't be so proud of this technological pterodrome. It's nothing compared to the power of the force. Right. So we got the guy choking. We got the old guy in a white. He's kind of a spy for the emperor. Um, but yeah, this is a cool package, man. I like. So I'm gonna get try and get a little bit closer. Everyone saying ooh. -hoo. So uh, I don't know if that works for you guys, but very cool. We got the guy choking. Remember how he uses his two fingers? Look at his two fingers. It's awesome. Very movie accurate. And these guys all come with their own pistols and stuff. I'm gonna turn this on the side so you can actually see these two fellas. Um, the faces are very movie accurate for what they were putting out at this time for Star Wars when they were doing the Saga collection. Um, I do also have a couple packs of robots, uh, droid packs from this from this uh, whatever collection series, the Saga collection. So, yeah, that was my big one. Miss Crappy, what'd you find today? Well, you know, I'm not exactly the uh, the spender that he is, because it seems that nowadays, like you know, toy shows, they don't exactly always carry what I want. Um, like back in the day, I could go there and find a million things that I wanted, but it seems like nowadays, um, it's all He-Man, Star Wars, superhero, GI Joe toys, and turtles, and Transformers. Yeah, and so, like, well, probably by, like, the time I get there, um, probably everything I would want is already gone. If anybody has, like, any creature stuff, I mean, you know, it's it's gone. I mean, you know, I did see some monster stuff. Um, as far as Toy Story stuff, I saw, like, one Zerg room guard, and that was it. But, you know, of course, I already had it. Um, hey, look, it's Lemon! Lemon's here, everybody. Lemon came Lemon! to say hello. Say hi, <laughs> bud. So, yeah, I mean, I got a couple of pops. Um, I mean, you know, nothing like insanely great, but I did decide to buy the little bullseye one. Um, I mean, currently you can still get him on the Funko website, but, you know, he is a Funko exclusive. So it's just easier to buy him there instead of buying him from Funko and paying the shipping. So, you know. Just, ooh. ooh, yeah, it's the little remix. So it's the little alien dressed as Bullseye. And in case you don't know, Bullseye is the little horse. So For he's Jesse. so cute. Yeah. I love him. He's happy. He makes me happy. <laughs> um, yeah, I like. I really didn't get that much. Um, I got like a new creature from the Black Lagoon t-shirt. From a local artist, a guy that was there. Great stuff. Good, good horror artwork too. Yeah. Uh, Zachary says, was there a lot of family members there today? There were, there were, we stopped by uh, Andy and I think Chris had a booth today. We stopped by there and we ran into a, a bunch of guys and they were all, they were also scattered all over the place too. I saw a lot of Neotech shirts. Uh, um, it's hard to recognize guys now that everybody's got a mask on. So I may have seen a lot of people. I don't know, but a lot of people uh, stopped and said hi and stuff. So it was cool. Like we we're just kind of there on the down low, just zipping through the aisles, and you know, we we, we just kept running into people that we knew. No. So that was cool. Yeah, we can't go that way. You have to go this way. Oh, he's got cat hair. My face is killing <laughs> me. You gotta go this way, dude. If you want to leave. <laughs> he's like, what? So yeah. Uh, so the second thing I'm gonna show you that I got, you can hold it up. I'm gonna hold it in my is, Vanna White style. I picked up one of the. Um, one of the Aurora models from the 90s. So. Fan of white hands. You know, every time you see one of those still in the package, you want to grab it. Um, I have one that my dad put together and painted for me. 
Very, very cool model. Yeah. Student says, nice. Zach says, nice. Yeah. Zachary says, okay. Okay. Yeah, so, so I'm going to just leave this one in the box. Um, it's not the same one that my dad did for me, but... Um, probably, so. probably the same mold, just better, different packaging. No, no, because no, he's like all like swimming and oh, right. stuff. Yeah, okay. but he's really cool. So we'll just leave him the way he is. But mm -hmm. those old Aurora models are really awesome. Right? Yeah, and that, that guy was ready. You know, he was willing to, to wheel and deal. So we went for it. Uh, Stin says Target had a bunch of cool horror toys in the Funko aisle today. Really, Zachary, really? you need to. Zachary, you might you might need to get the Target, buddy. Even though you spent a lot of money, uh, <laughs> Zach says, "Damn, that's awesome, Fever." Thank you. Yeah, you know, surprisingly, they had um, they did have some Frankenstein stuff there that I had seen. You know, more than anything, they did have. Stin said they have a ton of them, four shelves full four shelves of full? horror toys in the Funko aisle. Like, which Target specifically are we talking about? Like, where are you at? Stinge. Yeah. <laughs> Svetlana's laughing. That was for you, Svetlana. And <laughs> Chester gives a thumbs up. It was fun today, man. We had a blast. And we weren't even in there all that long. But it was cool, man. The time that we spent there was uh, <laughs> figure collective, collective is laughing. Oh, you're in Kansas City. Okay. Oh, he's in Kansas City. Kansas I didn't know City. you were that far, Stinge. Cool. Oh, that's right. I, I remember sending. I remember sending that to you now. Right, right, right. See, Captain Crappy, Captain Crappy family's got people. We have crappy people all over the country. How's your weather out there? Yeah. Right. Oh, that's so flat. That's why. Oh, I bet you the winds. I bet you it's cold. No. Yeah. Must be cold. Uh, anywho, we had a blast today. Uh, Zachary says a side question on haggling. I try to feel it out at certain shops. Do you think haggling is okay at local toy shops, especially once you start going to the same ones quite a bit? Um, I guess that's a personal choice. If you're a member of a club like Neotech, a lot of sh a lot of stores will offer you a discount. Um, the thing is, is these guys are local shops and they are not making millions of dollars. So if you don't, I, my thing is, is if you don't need the uh, discount, don't take it. If you buy a ton of stuff there, like, or if you buy a lot of stuff there and just give it away for free, sometimes I'll take the discount like from bigger stores, but smaller stores, I try not to, if I can't, if I can, you know, some of the places will offer a discount because they know I'm giving the stuff away. So um, I, I, like I said, I, it just depends, man. I guess you, I guess it's, it's up to you, man. What do you feel in your heart? You know, hey, I, mean, I mean, what are you really going to save if you get a discount? How much do you save with 10% off, you know, if the tax, I guess, I don't know. Stinch says it's zero degrees and a storm coming next, next two days. Next yeah, two that, days. That storm's oh. coming to us too. Oh, great. Lovely. Yeah. Uh, but, you, <laughs> but you get it first. So you yeah. can let us know. <laughs> Frankenstein says uh, it's it's like negative three here without wind. Where are you at, Frankenstein? Chicago. Oh, Chicago. Right, right. We always get your leftover weather. <laughs> Quit sending us that crap, Yeah, please. and then it gets worse because, you know, then it comes over our lake. and Right, and gets even yeah. worse. We get that so lake effect snow. Well, they got a lake, too. Right. Figure, <laughs> figure Collective says, I haggle only when I feel the price is a little above what I'm comfortable paying. Otherwise, I don't. That's a, that's a good way to do it. Um, figure collective for sure. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I think it's, I think that's gotta be a personal choice. Like I said, I, I try to tell people if you don't need it, don't take it just to keep these guys in business. But I also understand some of us spend a, an exorbitant amount of money on toys. I can't believe I got that word out without stuttering anyway. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> but, uh, some of us also spend an ungodly amount of money at these places. So, you know, sometimes a little, just even a little 10% discount feels good. It makes you feel appreciated, you right. know, as a customer. So maybe do it every other time. Maybe accept a, a discount one time and the next time just go pay full price and be cool. Uh, also, I've noticed if you pay cash, they will also give you a little bit better deal. So Zachary says, I agree, figure collective. Uh, Dr. Frankenstein says, Lana is the queen of haggling. She haggled a guy down to 365 from 300 or no, from what? Wait, what? Down to 38. Down to 38 300. from 300 total. No kidding. Wow. 
Wow. Dude, Svetlana's got to come <laughs> shopping with us then. <laughs> Svetlana, we need you. We yeah. need you. Not only do we need you, but he needs you. He needs you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, if, if you're going to do it, you have to be confident about it. Yeah. So, yeah, because they know, can smell fear. I, I feel like you can't <laughs> figure, you can't, figure, collect this you is right can't on, kind of be like, well, you know, I mean, you have to just be like, just direct, you know, just be like, you know, is this your best price? Because, you know, yeah, I mean, I maybe that's feel like maybe that's the way to say it. Is this the be, is this your best price on us? Instead of hey, can you give me a discount? That sounds kind of yeah. You don't you don't ask for a discount. You just say you know what is this your best price? Mm -hmm. Bree Bird says, uh, "Yeah, Lana is definitely my new shopping buddy." Right? <laughs> Zachary's laughing at Kim Jong needs to to haggle for for, for some U.S. nuclear codes, right? <laughs> I'm not sure it even has to handle at this point. I take the codes. <laughs> <laughs> but well, you know, I mean, if we're if we're talking like used stuff, you know, like if we're buying like secondhand toys, right? There's, there's room. You know, there's there's always there's always a little bit of wiggle room. Is the water around? Yes. Oh, thank you. I have I'm it. Thirsty. This this lipstick gloss, whatever I have on, tastes like dead bugs. Oh, really? Yum. I can't wait. Svetlana says, I offer my best price and see what they say. Yes. That's a good way to do it, Svetlana. Uh, Frank Steam says, uh, Biden uh, probably don't know. Uh, <laughs> he probably doesn't even know he has the coach. <laughs> Steam says, uh, about to make a late night run to Target and Walmart and uh, see what Star Wars toys they have left, if any. I, cool. I don't know what goes on out there, Stinge, but uh, I have several Walmarts and a, and a Target near me, and I shop. I go there regularly to check on things. The Walmart out by my shop has not got a new toy in the cool toy aisle, you know, the one with all the figures in it. Um, they have not got uh, received a new toy in that aisle in months. I mean, months. Every peg is just, there's nothing in that aisle. They're, they're stocking plenty of the cheap summer toys and, you know, bubble blowers and all that stuff, but no new figures. So, uh, da, 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 Zach says, uh, dead bugs. I used to, I used to eat dead bugs as a kid. Ants in particular spawn of hashtag spawn you of Satan. Bugs, Zach? Used to eat, so I knew he said that. Yeah. I said, used to eat. I knew that's what he's saying. I'm getting used to his typing. No, now. I know. I'm just asking <laughs> like you used to eat them. Frankenstein says, uh, like by, as a salad topper. Biden opens up the nuclear code briefcase and yells, uh, you sank my battleship. <laughs> you sank my battleship. <laughs> Frankenstein, oh, no. I like I like your style, brother. <laughs> and then he's like, I didn't even know I had a battleship. <laughs> <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> Ah, we better stop dogging on him because we're getting we're 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 getting dangerously close it's, to political discussion. It, it, you know what? It's all in fun because Battleship is a game, <laughs> so it's still in the realm of toys, right? Right. It is. Zachary says, as a child, I used to eat them straight off the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> Svetlana says, uh, just be just become friends and go daily with Walmart workers, and they will bring stuff from the back for you. Um, actually, Svetlana, that's yeah. become kind of a problem in Ohio. Yeah. Um, because, well, at least Northeast Ohio, we have a very, very large, unusually large toy collecting community. And uh, um, I know guys that used to do that back in the day. Eric Taylor used to do that. He'd get up in the morning, go to Walmart, Walgreens, Walmart, wherever, Target, and he had people there that would get him stuff and everything. Well, everybody got hip to that up here, and now it's uh, literally like uh, people are losing their jobs over it. So they are yeah. no longer allowed to do that. Uh, some of the Target employees were actually hiding toys and then buying them uh, when they got off and then scalping them to certain customers. They'd make deals, side deals with customers. So uh, Bob Hutchinson, friend of the family, does all our merch. His wife is actually manager at a Target, and she's getting ready to be a district manager. But uh, she told us, uh, she, I talked to him the other day on the phone and he told me a story. He said that they are losing their jobs over getting stuff from the back. So, so I don't want to get anybody fired. So Bree says uh, they caught some stealing them too. They did. They for sure did. Yeah. They were stealing them and then scalping them. So, Hey, speaking of Bob Hutchinson. Hey, Bob. How bizarre is that? Hey, all what's up, Bob? Bob says, Hey, all. 
Sting says, uh, Svetlana, uh, my wife is an outside contractor that works at Walmart, oh. not for Walmart. She said their Star Wars toys are wiped. Yeah, they are for sure. Wow. Figure Collective says, that's crazy. Chaos says, uh, ants are nature's M&Ms. <laughs> 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 That's a great one. <laughs> well, hey, man, that that's my haul, dude. I, you know, like I said, I didn't even plan on doing this. I thought, you know, I thought, hey, maybe let's just see if I if I go live, let's see if anybody shows up. And if some of you guys showed up, and that's awesome. It's great to see you all, man. Saturday night, happy Saturday hey, night. Craig, hey, Craig Miller just jumped in. Hello, yeah. surprise Saturday last night. Yeah, it was a surprise, Craig. It's not gonna be very long. Actually, we're just about ready to roll. Um, we got an awesome show for you guys tomorrow night. I can't wait. Happy Valentine's Day show. We're doing call-ins. We have all kinds of cool stuff. Um, uh, Mrs. Crappy worked so hard on this show. You have I no have idea. so much candy <laughs> in the three prize. Baskets? Three prize baskets that I have put together. This is just like a tiny part of it. So I just want to make sure that everybody shows up. Please because show up. You have three chances to win. Tell your friends. Tell tell everyone you know. It's a family friendly show. I know Emerson and his mom should be watching. Uh, down in Savannah, Georgia. A uh, figure collective says uh, my lady is out of town all week, so I'll be here with you guys. Wow, we're awesome. glad to have you. That's awesome. You can call. You can call in and wish her a happy Valentine's Day and say, give, send out a message to yes. her. We're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna do Valentine's Day shoutouts. Uh, Frankenstein says same thing used to happen um, when I collected Hot Wheels. The super rare ones wouldn't even make it to the floor. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. Absolutely. So um, anyway, everybody, happy Saturday. I hope you guys all enjoy your evening. I hope this brought a little bit of joy to you tonight. And uh, yeah. stick around tomorrow, 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 Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. We are going to have some fun. Sunday. Uh, oh, yeah, Sean. Says, hey, Sean. It was nice meeting you today. Oh, Sean, what's up? That was so cool meeting you, buddy. Yeah, an absolute pleasure to see you. In person. Yeah. Stin says, uh, I'm on vacation all week. You have a couple uh, we'll be sending you this week. Oh, awesome. That's awesome. That's so cool, man. Yeah, Fantastic. Send, send us your friends. And we'll make them our friends, all of our friends. Yeah. Uh, 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 but uh, yeah, we're so we'll do the call ins. We'll do live call ins tomorrow so you can uh, wish yours. Oh, yeah. uh, we your, got so your Valentine's, much fun stuff happy planned. Valentine's Day. We got a lot going on tomorrow night. Lots of prizes tomorrow night, too. So uh, yeah, it was awesome meeting everybody today. We had such a fun time. We just had to come on and talk about it. I was going to do a, a different video at, like this week, maybe, and show the hall and everything, but that seemed kind of like low, uh, low energy. This 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 seemed more like the right thing to do. Um, it was like the right time. Right time, but yeah. Plus, I actually got home from work a little early tonight, so. And I even took a nap, and I'm you know still somewhat put together. Figure Collective says, <laughs> "Rock on, man." Bob Hutchinson says, uh, "She said there's ten to twelve uh, toy people that are waiting at the door every morning that just go check for those special toys." Of course, there are, man. And I know because I went into Target the other morning. And I got shoulder checked by no less than three, obviously <laughs> co collector guys. They had the right look to them and everything, and they were they were very concerned about me getting to an aisle before them. I saw them as I was casually walking to the door. <laughs> Some zip past me and go straight to the action figure aisle. So, but hey, you know that's how you know I get it, man. This is this is uh, some people take this very seriously. You know I try what? not to. So I, I will never forget. The one time when I actually got, I got shoved out of the way by this, this these little tiny, I, they must have been like in their 80s or 90s. I was at this flea market in, oh. in Chicago. Um, it's probably like 2009. And I could not believe it. This little old couple was just like, Rah! I was like, what the heck? Mm -hmm. I was like, whatever you are looking for, I promise you, I am. We're not looking for the same thing. Right. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Huh. Zach says, uh, imagine dragging yourself out of bed early to buy Hot Wheels. Good God. Bed is greater than toys. Frankenstein says, uh, Zach, they heard addic addictive. I had well over 5,000. Frankenstein, we actually have some a, a bunch of 
cool rare Hot Wheels that uh, we've been looking to get rid of at some point. My grandfather was a huge Hot Wheel collector. Right. He had a very, very impressive collection, but yeah, he's been he's been gone since 2003. So. Uh, Stin says Cara Dune has become the single most collectible figure this this ever this week. I think. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, those prices are just shooting up. Oddly enough, I have all of them, and I have some of them. Well, I have all of them in a package, and then I have a couple of them that I bought extra of and have in my little setups and stuff, my little vignettes. <laughs> I said vignettes. Chaos says, if Bree loses me in the store, she can always find me in the toy aisle. Right, me to the toy aisle. <laughs> <laughs> Bree says, true story. Dr. Frankenstein says, uh, save them. I don't collect them anymore. I've had them since he's been gone. It's I, I got like one tray of them out of the probably 5,000 that, that he had as well. He had so many of them. Yeah, and, and they're very meticulously kept. Even though they're out of package, they're beautifully uh, cataloged and stored and very well, safe. He always bought like five of each one. Oh, yeah. You know, and then and then he had the ones that he opened, which were the ones, some of the ones that I had. So, but yeah. Cool. I remember he used to go on like the toys, the toy hunts and stuff, and he would always go to like KB Toys like first thing in the morning, you know, as they were putting them out in the mall and get out, get all the clearance ones and stuff. Yeah. Uh, Brian, uh, Brian with a Y says, I also do Hot Wheels. Oh, really? You might want to take oh, a look at really? these, Brian. Next time you come over, I'll show them to you. For sure. You maybe you might be interested in these. I don't know. Uh, Craig says, uh, I'm just a Star Wars, mostly Black Series collector, and uh, do look anytime I'm at a store that would have them. Of course, I don't go out of my way to get there extra early. Uh, when I find one I want, I grab them. See, that's that's a good way to do it, Craig. Just, you know, if you find it, it's there, cool. Yeah. Uh, it says, I cannot wake up that early for toys, and I get it. They'll come to you eventually. I mean, I know you want to get it before everybody else gets it or when everybody else is talking about it, but a lot of those figures become, I mean, a lot of the hottest figures today become peg warmers next month. So, uh, Chaos says, uh, Caleb loves Hot Wheels. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome. Good job. <laughs> Yeah. All right, Caleb, rocking them Hot Wheels. Doctor Frankenstein <laughs> says uh, pink red lines are worth a lot. We have a few, yeah, we have a few of those, uh, Doctor Frankenstein. Yeah. Brian says a sweet will do for sure. Bob says uh, my wife also said that if there are toys under the shelving, which I've been finding lately, those are most likely put there uh, by those early morning toy hunters. Oh, I'm sure they're yeah, exactly. Go uh, that go is crazy. I did go not hide know the yeah, go hide the toy when it comes out, and then when you get your paycheck, go back and you remember where you put it. Like I said, I lifted. I I heard that story and I'm like, no way, no way, no way. And I went to uh, the Target and Steel Yard and I, I went right underneath the Star Wars toys. I left them up. There's a bunch of Black Series figures underneath there. I, I couldn't believe it. I am going to like go around to like a Ray Target now and be like, whoop, 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 just take everything out and just... <laughs> well, they're starting to zip tie them down now. Well, I'll take little clippers then. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, how do I know the person like sticking the toys on there isn't bringing their own zip ties? Right. Out? Yeah, zip tie. Right, exactly. See, these guys are smart. Clever. <laughs> Criminals are clever. Craig well, says, I mean, uh, yep. They're, criminals, but... <laughs> they're toy criminals. <laughs> yep. And I'm not going to pay a premium on eBay. I guess I'll be a patient collector. That's a good way to do it, yeah. Craig, man. You see, you strike me as a patient guy. You're, you're, you're very reserved and chill. And I like that about you, man. You're a cool guy. I mean, you know, having patience, that really does like ease the anxiety. Right. When I, when I, there was a time where I was, where I was very hyper about toy collecting and, when I found out something was coming out and, and I couldn't find it, I, I'd get like, I would get stressed over it. Like we see people get stressed over it. Brian with a Y says, I, uh, I did that today. No luck. LOL. <laughs> Zachary says, uh, I always wait because um, I'm the most patient person in the world. Yes. Oh, you are so very patient, Zach. <laughs> oh, did you see what, what, uh, what Stinch said? It said, I searched for hidden toys in Target and I found two cards doing pops. On an end cap all by itself. Oh, uh, the pop, the Caradoon pop, I think, is going for about 25, 30 bucks right now. So, huh? Look at that. Yeah. Oh, hey, look, it's Darby Reviews. Darby Reviews is here. Oh, yeah. what's up, Darby? He says, uh, 
I've been to so many Targets and Walmarts, I can't find anything. That's because toy collecting is big business in Northeast Ohio, Darby. Yeah. And you know, awesome. I saw you at that GameStop. They well, didn't have got, anything in there. You got comics today. That's awesome. Yeah. Good. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna talk about comic books very soon here. Yeah. Um, Anthony from Robot Zero is gonna come down and do a show here with us, So we're gonna talk about comic books and find out. Uh, I think uh, I think we'll come up with some. Maybe we'll maybe everybody in the family will all pick one new book to read, and then we'll do a show. Maybe we'll throw an extra show in some sometime on a weekend or something, and we'll talk about comic books. Doctor Frankenstein says uh, there are a few vintage real. Uh, reels? Reels. I want, but I can't afford. Uh, I'm going to kill myself. Over, not gonna I'm not going to kill myself over not getting one. Not going to kill himself. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good thing. We don't want you to kill yourself. <gasps> a crappy comic book club. There we go. The Zachary Kodaker came up with it. The crappy comic book club. I'm in. That's awesome, we man. We all have buttons. We'll, we'll make buttons. Bob Hutchinson will make us buttons. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, I'm gonna have so much crap for you to make, dude. It's ridiculous. A whole bunch of crappy crap. A bunch of crappy crap. Bob, we need to make crappy underwear. Just saying, man. Somebody suggested that today that they wanted uh, Captain Crappy underwear. <laughs> I was thinking white boxer shorts, bright white boxer shorts, and then we'll write Captain Crappy vertically right in the middle of the back, down the back. I don't know. <laughs> Please write it in green. <laughs> Bob's laughing. Craig's laughing. Everybody's laughing. Yeah. Somebody at the show today told us we should do crappy underwear. Uh, Andy actually said that from Neotag. So Frankenstein, uh, Frankenstein's laughing. Boxer shorts with a stain on it. Right. Crappy underwear. <laughs> so, oh, my life. I know, right? I'm horrible. <laughs> uh, Spetlana <laughs> says, ew. That's what I say. I say, ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> he said Svetlana, we'll what? make you a pair of these. We're gonna make you a Svetlana, we're gonna make you a pair of shorts with this guy on it. <laughs> <laughs> Darby Ruby says uh, crappy the comic book series. Someone do it. I'll draw it up. <laughs> Svetlana's laughing. <laughs> 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 Zachary says I like, get Spencer's uh to to market the underwear, right? <laughs> they could put them in their adults only section. The you know the little section that the kids aren't allowed to go in the back with the black lights and stuff. They still have that section? They do, they do. Oh wow. Awkward. Craig says uh Kim needs to make wait, it says Kim needs to make his way onto a Captain Captain Crappy shirt. Someday. Someday. Maybe yeah. we'll come up with a funny idea. Maybe we'll put him and the Chihuahua on there. Oh, my God. Maybe I'll draw a, a comic of, of the Chihuahua <gasps> and Kim. Uh, student says, uh, you should put a Captain Crappy sticker in the box, uh, not on the box uh, when you send stuff. Okay, my unique stickers. Put them on, dude. Stinge, I'll just send that's you some stickers. That's what I said. That's what she said, and I was like, "Oh, that's probably a I was good like, idea." Are you putting stickers in the box? He's right. Like, no. But I, but I, <laughs> but I already, I had already sealed everything up. So Zachary Kodecker says he loves that section. Ha <laughs> ha. I, I, I bet you do. Bob Hutchinson says uh, I have painted fonts <laughs> that look like smears. I can't say that word. You can say doo doo. I can't. I, I, I can't get it out of my mouth for some reason. Uh, figure collectors, <laughs> collectors laughing. Craig Villard, I have, I have hangups. Uh, Craig says uh, I put stickers in on uh, my gun safe too. Oh, 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 oh! Don't talk about that on here, Craig. We, we don't want anyone knowing YouTube knowing what you have at your house. Uh, that's your business, brother. But I get it's it. It's squirt guns. Um, oh, squirt guns. Okay, cool. Craig, I'll send. I'm going to send everybody stickers from now on. Every package, I'm going to just send send a couple stickers in there because I got a bunch of them now. So, Stin says, uh, "Remember, remember, Cap, Fever is always right." Oh, <laughs> Dude, I am brilliant. <laughs> She is always right, man. Yeah. Zachary says, uh, "Super soakers." Yeah, super soakers. Exactly. Dark Review says, I just got home from seeing a retro movie at Valley View. My Bloody Valentine. That was oh, a that's great awesome. Movie. High five. Yeah, that was awesome, Darby. It's a good thing I uh, checked YouTube when I got home. You know what, Darby? I don't usually do Saturday nights. This is one of those uh, spur of the moment things. Yeah, this was just a pop up. I was walking through <laughs> the kitchen and I said, hey, 
uh, hey, Jen, I think I'm going to do a, I think I'm going to go live real quick and do my toy haul. Yeah. So she put on lipstick. I dyed my beard really fast. No, I did this last night. Uh, a lip, lip tint that tastes like crushed bugs. Crushed bugs. It's my favorite flavor. Mm. Craig Villard said, uh, of course, uh, got to lock up the squirt guns for sure. Figure Collective says, uh, got to go to the movies soon. Miss those things. I, know. I do too. I, I do really too. Do. I, I, you know what? I think like, you know how people have Airbnbs? Mm -hmm. I think they could do like air movie theaters. Like you get a gigantic 90, 90 inch screen TV or whatever and put like four or five recliners in front of it and rent it to people so they can they can get well, be social, have their friends come over and watch a movie. They're doing where you can actually rent out a theater. Right, but come on, man. Who can afford to rent a theater? If you, if you go in on it with all your friends. Yeah, I and guess. I mean, you know, theaters are big enough where you can actually sit apart. Right. I mean, how fun would that be? That would be fun. Maybe we'll do a crappy night at the movies. We'll go see a crappy movie. Oh, it's a hundred, what is it? Like a... Zachary says uh, movie... You a whole th theater for a hundred... Dollars, twenty people live in. No kidding. Well, maybe we'll do that, Zach. Craig says uh, our new movies coming out. I haven't heard many. Um, some are, yeah. I know they're filming a lot. Darby Review says uh, I love going to the movies. I hope the drive-ins come back soon. Oh, oh they they're gonna make a big comeback this summer. You watch. Figure, there's one out in North Ridgeville still. I think. Figure, there's one in Chardon. Chardon. Uh, figure Collector says I'll do that. Yes, do that. Yeah, you can do that. That'd be so much fun. Right. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do it. You know what? I gotta. I gotta get in my uh, my my planner and and really start putting stuff down. Hey, because if because if I don't set a date, then I won't do it. I'll forget about it. Bob Hutchinson said new movies are going straight to HBO Max and Showtime apps. So you are right about that. Figure Godzilla Collective says Godzilla vs. King Kong. Ah. You know what? There is only ah. one one way to see Godzilla vs. King in Kong. A theater. It's got to be in a theater, man. Oh, I want to go. I need that bass. Uh huh. Yeah, you got to hear. My ears should ring when I get out of there, and mm. I want to feel it, and I want to see it on giant screen. I know. That's I want to hear that. Ah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> Craig Villard says, I uh, went to the theater in Macedonia and there was a sign that said, welcome back. But they, <laughs> but they, lo they looked closed. <laughs> well, that was rude. <laughs> right? Maybe you could get them for false advertising. Oh, um, man. <laughs> Darby said, uh, Lemon's like, why are you guys laughing? Darby <laughs> said, uh, theaters for sure. It's not the same on TV. Uh, plus, mine isn't that big. No, no, you're right. It isn't the same on TV at all. It, it takes away a lot of the like. I mean, when they film those movies, they film them with that in mind that you're going to see it huge on the screen. And yeah. you know what I'm saying? I mean, now a lot of these newer things, these newer projects are going to be turned into mini series and they're going to be on streaming and all that stuff. So if you don't have like a home theater system and it's, it's lackluster, it'll be just like watching cheers on TV or something. You younger people, that's an old show from the eighties mash, whatever. Zachary says, uh, nice chatting though, guys. Uh, Back to rearranging my collection room and hanging my new toys from the ceiling. Talk to y'all tomorrow. Ooh. Yes. Hey, Zachary, is, uh, is your lovely, lovely better half going to be watching with you tomorrow for the Valentine's Day special? Hope so. Bob says, uh, I always wondered why Godzilla sounded like a hawk. Right? Where did they come up with that noise from? Bob, make sure you invite the, your lovely, awesome wife to see the show tomorrow, okay? We're going to be doing lots of couple stuff. We're going to do live call-ins where you can call in and wish your Valentine, happy Valentine's Day, and you can yeah. profess your love. Uh, Dr. Frankenstein says uh, that's a and at and is doing. They want to boost streaming subscriptions. Of course they do, because we all have to use their broadband. Right. Uh, Student 68 says, uh, off on my midnight toy run with with – Oh, wish me luck. Yeah. Well, good luck, Stinch. I hope you find some awesome stuff. Yeah, we'll be safe out there. Stay be warm. Be safe. Stay warm. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, make sure you got a full tank of gas and make sure you have water and a blanket in your car. Okay, buddy? Maybe and some snacks. food. Snacks. Zachary says uh, she will. Making homemade chocolate-covered strawberries and watching the show. That's awesome. Oh, sweet. And tomorrow you'll see how cool that's what you just said is. Bob said, uh, what time tomorrow? Same time, same crap time, same crap channel, 9 o'clock tomorrow night. 
uh, and it's going to be all Valentine's Day. You, you uh, Miss Crappy Word, you put a lot of work in this show. I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. Uh, Darby says, I wish I could watch the show tomorrow, but I have to work. Oh, where do you work at, Darby? Yeah, where do you work? I could see you working in a restaurant. You're a younger guy, restaurant, or maybe doing some computer stuff. You look like a computer guy to me, I think. Does he? Yeah, he looks very intelligent. Hmm. So, cool. Unlike your host. <laughs> At least on this side of the screen. <laughs> uh, well, you know, Darby, you'll already you'll always be able to watch it as soon as you get off. Darby we'll says he here. works at uh, oh. Mitchell's Fish Market. No kidding, that's awesome, dude. That is that's a cool that's a cool job. Well, I guess you were correct. Well, oh, like restaurant, right? It works in the food industry. Food industry. Bob says uh, my wife will be in bed. She works at four a.m. Uh, well, Bob, what you do is then, while you're watching tomorrow night, call in and profess your undying love for her, and then she can watch the stream the next day, and she can see how romantic and, and what a gentleman you are. Yeah. Yeah. And then maybe she'll let you start playing your drums again. Yeah, there you go. You should get a nice electric set. Alesis makes this set. Uh, it's about, it's it's under $1,000. It's called the Nitro Mesh. And uh, actually I actually just let Zachary borrow mine, and uh, it's it's a cool set, man. You can do a lot with it. Chaos in it, and you can do cymbal stops, and it's it's touch sensitive. Everything. Chaos says uh, gonna be asleep at midnight, but Bree loved her Valentine's Day gift. Oh, thanks, Captain Crappy. Bree loved the Wonder Woman art. Oh, that's I'm glad you gave that to. I've been waiting to see what happened to that. Post a picture, man. Aww. Chaos yes. Raven and came all the way to the shop and, yeah. and in a sneaky fashion, we we kind of we kind of worked out a thing and he bought the the Wonder Woman uh illustration that I yeah. did. And he, and he gave it to Bree for Valentine's Day. Oh, that's so sweet. That's so awesome. Man. You know what I didn't do? I should have put a private message, a personalized message on the back of that. I'm sorry. Next time when you guys come up to the shop to pick stuff up. Uh, if you want to bring it, I'll write something nice in there, okay? Uh, Bob's laughing, and he says, uh, I have a Roland. Uh, t oh, okay, okay, good. Now you have your own kit then, cool. All right, Bree Bird says she loves it with a little heart. That's awesome. I'm glad you like that, Bree. That's awesome. That's so cool. I'm glad that went to a cool home because most of my stuff that I do on paper sits in a folder and gets lost. So, I mean, my paintings usually stick around because they go up on the wall, but 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 the smaller things I do, the, the stuff that I draw, and I put time into that stuff. So There's a cat attacking my slipper. There's a, a cat attacking your slipper? Yeah. Well, he sucks. <laughs> Anywho, everybody, thank yeah. you so much for kicking, up, kicking it with us for a while here Saturday night. We're going to go hang out together and eat some junk food. Well, at least I will. Um, I'm not. I'm going to have ice cream tonight. It's my cheat night. Yes, I call it my ice cream relapse night. Um, but otherwise, I hope you guys all, you know, share a little love tonight. Make a little love. Oh, Bree said she's putting together her studio. Studio? Yeah, what kind of studio? What kind of studio, Bree? Figure Collective says, I have a good night. Well, you too. You too. It's great seeing you. Hopefully, we'll see you tomorrow, Figure Collective. What kind of studio? Darby Review says, uh, best ice cream flavor. Uh, hands down. Twix. Uh, Twix makes a pint ice cream, and it's the most delicious, creamy, sumptuous, awesome, delicious ice cream ever made. It, it, and I'm pretty sure they inject it with crack and heroin, possibly meth. I don't know. But it is addictive. It is so good. I was eating it every night. Uh, Bob Hutchinson says, really uh, mint crappy chip. <laughs> uh uh, da, 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 da. Craig oh. says, uh, dang it. I was going to get some ice cream today and I forgot. Go get some Twix ice cream, man. You can usually find it like in gas station, like marts, like drug little marts and stuff. Uh, Bree says, uh, painting and resin work and crafts. Oh, awesome. Bree, you'll have to come on the show then. You're going to have to be a guest on the show and show us what you do. You know, mm -hmm. we, we always support our artist friends. Because we're yeah, artists. Yeah, so. that'd be awesome. Darby Review says, uh, between cookie dough or mint? Oh, neither. I don't like either of those flavors. I really, I do. I like a good mint ice cream. Yeah, I think yeah. I think that cookie dough tastes like sand. It has like that. Well, because it's gritty. 
gritty. Yeah, I mean, cookie dough's not in my top, but I really like mint. I um, used to like those mint shakes, the shamrock shakes that they did at McDonald's. So maybe I like mint ice cream. I don't know. But, I, man, I'm telling you, that Twix ice cream, I, no. I, I, I can't say enough about it. No. Craig says mint chocolate chip is the best. I've never had moose tracks. And moose tracks. I've, I've never, never had moose tracks that. either. You know what? I when I was growing up, my two favorite ice cream flavors was I would eat ice cream occasionally. We'd go to Helen Hutchley's. <gasps> yes, I you know I was thinking about that on the way home today. In Hel fact, I was thinking about Helen Hutchley's. Dude, Helen on Hutchley's the drive was home. the stuff. Um, Helen Hutchley's made uh, during the holidays. They had eggnog ice cream, and I love eggnog because you were a weird child, right? <laughs> but but once a, once every couple months, my dad would take us to Ellen Hutchley's in Parma, and I would get chocolate marshmallow. I loved chocolate marshmallow ice cream, and I've I've tried to buy chocolate ice cream and put the marshmallow on it. It's not just the not same. the same, man. Yeah. It's not the same. Yeah, my grandparents we used to walk up to Helen Hutchley's. Loved Helen Hutchley's. My dad would take us there. It was like a treat, you know. Yeah. Dad, if you're watching, thanks for taking us to Helen Hutchley's. Yeah. Thank you, Grandma and Grandpa. <laughs> my dad is is grandpa crappy i guess <laughs> oh yeah he would be he would be gra grandpa crappy <laughs> he's gonna love that <laughs> i don't think he watches the show anymore but well, if you do dad better. i love you brother father <laughs> love you brother <laughs> love you brother father <laughs> hey, it's like like uh Where, like a what? west virginia relationship that's bizarre uncle daddy <laughs> <laughs> uncle daddy uncle dad, that's it never mind <laughs> Never mind. All right, guys, we're gonna get out of here, man. It's getting crazy now. We've been doing this for an hour. This is supposed to be 10 minutes toy haul, okay? Uncle, Uncle Grandpa, that's right. Uncle the Grandpa. Cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Frankenstein doesn't know what we're doing right now. Look, all you need to know, Dr. Frankenstein, is this guy's coming for Lana, man. So you better beware. <laughs> you better beware. <laughs> Grandpa crappy, Bob watches the center. <laughs> oh, crazy. Yeah, crampy crappy. <laughs> uh, crampy crappy or crampy? Yeah, crampy crappy. Darby says he loves just good old fashioned vanilla well, ice cream. I do like vanilla what? ice cream with a little bit of caramel on there. Like the older I get, I find that I just like <laughs> plain flavors, like a fresh strawberry, like a really good quality vanilla, just amazing chocolate. We're gonna have to have another show where we just talk about things we like. Ice cream. That are sweet. We'll do the ice, the crappy <laughs> ice cream episode. Ooh. Svetlana and, and Dr. Frankenstein are both laughing because Kim is coming to take her from you. <laughs> oh, my God. You know what? Maybe we should go to Chicago and just take pictures of him in front of everything. You know what? We're going to start taking pictures of this guy and the and the chihuahua. I'm going to put them together and we'll start taking pictures of him everywhere we go. It's It's been a you know couple of years since I've been to Chicago. I'm overdue. I miss Bob, it there. Bob says he'll bring Mitchell's ice cream when he comes out. Uh, um, well, Mrs. Crappy does not eat ice cream anymore unless I, it's vegan. I so. eat vegan ice cream, but Mitchell's has some amazing vegan ice cream. I do love their selection. Right? Brian with a Y <laughs> says, good night, everyone. Uh, hey, Bull just showed up. What's up, Bull? Happy Toy Ohio Day to you, Bull. We just did a hey, quick uh, a haul video on it. It was an accident. No, we didn't even no, know we were going to do it today. No, no, it's not your fault. This was just like unplanned. We just did a toy haul. Yes. Svetlana said that would be hilarious. And we'll send you pictures, Svetlana, of everywhere to Kim. Kim. Where's his little button? Oh, here it is. Everywhere to Kim and this little guy go. <laughs> Bree Bird says uh, Tommy's milkshakes. Yeah, Tommy's, right? Mm -hmm. Bull says cool. So anyway, um, we've said goodbye and good night 18 times now. Craig says, uh, good that's to know my awesome. wife recently started eating vegan. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, Craig, if you ever need anything at all, you can uh, private message their uh, Miss Crappy. She can hit you to all the vegan stuff. Uh, Bob Hutchinson says, uh, quick is a very loose term on the channel. <laughs> yeah. Right? And, and, and it for sure is. Anywho, everybody, good night. Love each other. Sleep well. Be kind to each other. Yeah, Craig, and I'm going on 10 years. So if your wife needs anything, just just holler. Bull says uh, vegans are vegans are good eating. Oh, <laughs> eat the vegans. <laughs> All right. So everybody, good night. I'm, so, I'm pretty sweet. I might taste. I might taste. Okay. How do I taste? Salty and bitter. Uh-oh. Just, uh -oh. just, bitter. just saying. Bitter. You're bitter. With that, everybody, good night. <laughs> Captain Crappy likes his toys. Cap Crappy loves his toys. Funny A Star Wars superhero, she has toys.
Cat Crappy loves his toys. Captain Hi. Crappy loves his toys. He's Toy. Hi. Oh. Cat Crappy loves his toys. Cat Crappy loves his toys. Star Wars superhero G.I. Joe toys. Captain Crappy loves his wife. Cat Crappy <laughs> loves his wife. Captain Crappy loves his toys. Kim and the Chihuahua, Unlikely Duo for a comic series. Right. Yes. <laughs> Good night, all. You guys all sleep well, okay? <laughs> we'll see you all tomorrow. If see you around. Tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> if not, have a happy, happy Valentine's Day. We'll see you Monday night, but we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.